The iPhone 6S was released in September of 2015, meaning that it's coming up to six years old in 2021. This is the oldest iPhone still running the latest version of iOS, which is iOS 14. It can be picked up online for between 90 and 130 pounds, which raises the questions, should you go and buy an iPhone 6S in 2021 and how does it hold up? And the short answer here is maybe you should buy it in 2021, but probably not. It holds up fairly well actually, and you wouldn't realize that you're using a phone that's six years old, but my fear is longevity. It has been rumored that this is the final version of iOS that this phone will receive. So whilst it's a good phone today, it may not be a good phone in months to come. Timestamps for this video are available in the description so you can jump about to the parts that you find relevant for you. So starting with design, this is a fairly classic and familiar iPhone design. Apple kind of recycled the same design all the way from the 6 to the new iPhone SE. There are some minor differences between the 6S and the SE which I will explain. So the 6 is made from aluminium whereas the newer phones have a glass back. This is a more durable design but doesn't have wireless charging. And in addition, the 6S has a smaller camera bump and the antenna bands on the body, which I think look a little bit ugly. The front of this device has a 4.6 inch retina display, which is a fairly good display and holds up well. The best part of this is force touch, which I think is such a cool feature that Apple has removed. The iPhone measures how hard you press the screen, so a hard press causes different features than a light press. Apple has implemented this in the new phones via software, but it's nowhere near as cool as the real deal. This iPhone has the large top and bottom bezels, which do make it look a little bit outdated now, but it's nothing too bad. And luckily the bottom bezel is home to the fingerprint sensor, which works great. It's nice, it's fast, it's reliable. It's definitely the best way to unlock a phone and I do miss it regularly now with my 10. The iPhone 6S is also blessed with a headphone port and it is one of the last iPhones to have this feature. Moving on to performance, the iPhone 6S is powered by the A9 chip and has 2GB of RAM inside. So as I mentioned earlier, this phone is running the latest version of iOS, which is iOS 14. And it's great that Apple is still supporting such an old phone with the latest version of iOS. But it is important to note that this is likely to be the final version of iOS that this phone will receive. So whilst it might not be out of date today, come September 2021 it will be running out of date software. This isn't going to immediately make the iPhone useless. You would definitely have another few years of apps working fine on iOS 14, but it's definitely worth considering. iOS 14 mostly holds up fairly well. I found that it's not quite as good as on the original iPhone SE, which is strange because they have the same internals. Do check out my iPhone SE review if you're interested in that. If your main usage is going to be social media, messaging apps and web browsing and YouTube, then this phone will definitely be good enough for you. App loading time is a little bit longer than the newer counterparts, but that's to be expected. You're pretty much able to run any app that a brand new iPhone is able to run, but more demanding applications definitely do not run as smoothly on the iPhone 6S. So I've played a few games and they do work but the phone does get kind of warm and also they can get a little bit choppy and drop frames. So an example of this is when using the AR mode on Pokemon Go. Ultimately this phone is at its best when using it for light tasks but if you do start to push it and use more demanding applications then the iPhone 6s really does show its age a little bit more. Realistically, I would buy this phone expecting to pay someone to change the battery or do it yourself in the near future. This iPhone that I am using has 84% battery health and if I'm being honest, it's just awful. The battery barely lasts a night on standby and only a few hours of use leaves it below 20%. This is the same for all older iPhones as batteries just age and get worse, 
but this is definitely something worth considering as you will either have to replace the battery or use a power bank. So the front of this phone has a 5 megapixel selfie camera which looks fine actually. It's nothing special but it's a good enough front facing camera for selfies and FaceTime and it also records full HD video which I think is fairly decent. The back of the phone has a 12 megapixel camera. This phone that I have seems to have sand or something in the back, so it kind of causes some artifacts when taking photos. Luckily, I did used to own an iPhone 6S, so I'm just going to show you some older photos of me looking notably younger that were taken on an iPhone 6S. This camera really isn't amazing compared to the new iPhones, but if you're using it to just capture memories, it's more than capable, and if I'm being honest, I rarely look back at my photos taken on an iPhone 6S and think this looks terrible. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Woohoo! Most impressively, in my opinion, is video. It can shoot 4K 30, and when I went on holiday with my 6S years ago, I was really impressed by the footage, and I still am. And it even shoots 240 FPS at 720p. So, to conclude, the iPhone 6S is a kind of capable phone in 2021, but I must reiterate that this is probably the final version of iOS that this phone will receive. And in the coming years, you really will start noticing the age. My personal recommendation would be to buy an iPhone 7. It's not that much cheaper, and in theory you will get at least one more year of software updates, but there's potential for more years than that as the iPhone 7 is a considerably quicker phone than the 6S. I think really the main person that would be buying this phone in 2021 is someone whose screen time is fairly minimal and your main use cases are going to be social media and taking a few photos of your friends and family. The battery life on here is terrible. I would also say that if you are going to buy this phone you should really take into consideration the battery health of the units that you're buying and it is very likely that you're going to have to replace the battery uh, either yourself or pay someone else to do it. I hope this video was useful, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to be notified when I release tech videos in the future. Thank you for watching, please give the video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. All the best.